This is Sir Nick Justice with Drop the Spotlight. We are here at Wizard World Austin with the one and only Thomas Nicholas. How are you doing today? Good, man. That's awesome. There is a lot of love that I saw on that live performance earlier today. You know, how did it feel seeing that crowd cheering you on? Oh, it was awesome, man. I love playing at the uh, at the Wizard World Comic Cons uh, on the entertainment stage, and it's always a lot of fun when I have uh, some friends around. Yeah. David Alpay jamming on the violin, and then of course Ryan Cabrera, who we played a show at the Highball on Wednesday. He agreed to stay in town and come to his first ever Comic Con performance, uh, and so I was like, we got to have a jam together. Yeah. So I've known Ryan for like 10 years, maybe more, and we've never jam we've we've shared the same stage, but we've never jammed a song together. Okay. We didn't even jam together we on just Wednesday. Went history then. So it was and it's history. on footage. It's on footage. You That's got awesome. it. That's awesome. And so like tell me more about the music that you got into. Like when did you start? You know, do you have albums out there right now that are like that your personal favorite? Uh well I've released 6 albums over the last 10 years. It's the 10 year anniversary of my first album. Um and uh, I mean, the last album is an homage to all of my favorite songs of the American Pie soundtracks. Of course. So the Security album is my last original album that came out in 2015 that I pressed to vinyl as well. So that's the one that it, uh, that I'm the most proud of, I guess. Of course. Although we recorded Frat Party at Studio 606, <laughs> which is Dave Grohl's studio on the famous yeah. Neve console. So Frat Party is pretty cool too. It's. You need to check it out, all right? If you haven't already, you need to check it out. And for future, you know, films or anything like that, do you have anything that you're able to talk about? Uh, yeah, there's a few things. Um, I'm shooting something right now in LA called Adverse. That's a neo-noir drama. Uh, I can't tell you much about the cast because we haven't announced anything yet. Um, and I'm playing a very different character. And then, of course, there is, as you guys already are very well aware of, Handbook for Mortals. Uh, uh, it debuted number 34 in the USA Today bestseller list when it came out, and we are getting closer to some news about the film. So, um, if everything stays on track, we may start get to start principal photography in January of 2019, which would then, you know, be another year or so. Yeah. But uh, hey, it's you just know, around the corner. All our Wizard World fans and friends will get the inside scoop as soon as we know anything. That's awesome, and I can't wait to hear that. You know, where can we check you out on? social media? Uh, all my social handles are Tin Band because my name's too dang long for <laughs> social media. When I tried to type it in, it says, yeah. you're out of characters. I mean, it doesn't actually that's, say that's that. That's how it goes with Scantrons back in the day at school. You had a circle in every bubble. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, my name's a little long for Scantron. Um, but yeah, at Tin Band, T-I-N Band for Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it. Awesome. Well, I Website. appreciate uh, the interviews here today. Be sure to check them out on social media and of course his book and album and we'll see you about 2019 for the up and coming projects. Just to clarify, I didn't write the book. I'm only producing the film. Yes. Just, just, just to clarify. I don't want anyone thinking, you know, already doing enough between the music, the producing, yeah. and the acting. It's a lot of Being juggling. a dad, no writing of books for me yet. Yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> awesome, man. Thank right you on, so man. much. Thank you.